This is our last video for today about volume of prisms and cylinders. So this is for my honor students. You might be wondering, why do we have to watch an extra video? Well, you're my varsity team. You're my A team. I gotta push you guys harder and give you more challenging stuff to work with. Um, so here I have two oblique solids. Again, oblique means they're slanted. The volume formulas are still the same. Volume is still area of your base times your height. The tricky part on these oblique problems is usually finding that height. Uh, so this one here on the left, let's identify, well, this should be a rectangular prism because my bases are rectangles. Over here, I have a cylinder because my bases are circles. Um, okay, I, I can find the area of my base. If this is rectangular, those opposite sides are 20, 20, 13, 13. Okay, so area of my base, no problem. That's just little base times the height of my rectangle. So 13 times 20 should be 260 um, square yards. Okay, simple enough. So I should put yard square. But the problem is I don't have the height. So if I look over at this right triangle, this should be a trig problem. If this is 16, all of these slanted edges are gonna be 16 as well. Okay, so from this angle, my opposite is the height. My hypotenuse is 16. Hmm, opposite hypotenuse. Which one would that be? So, kato, uh, should be my sine. Sine is the opposite to hypotenuse. So to find that height, I should say sine of 48, or from the point of view of that 48 degree angle, is the same as comparing my height to my hypotenuse of 16. Okay, so we need to solve for h. 16 sine 48. Nice, I'm gonna leave that as is, and then I'll type that in all together in my calculator. So volume is area of base times 16 sine of 48. So I'm gonna round off this one just to see what that comes out to be about. So 260 times 16 sine 48. I'm getting about 3,091. Yeah, I'm in degree mode. So this comes out to be about 3,091.5 cubic yards. Cool, so again, the harder part on these problems is typically finding the height. Uh, so that's their prism there. Let's go ahead and look at this cylinder. Okay, I've got 60. Oh man, this is another one of those 30, 60, 90. Those just don't go away, do they? This hypotenuse is 30. Okay, so opposite that is 30. Opposite this would be 15. And then opposite 60 would be 15 square root three. So this right here is the height of our cylinder. All right, so just like every other cylinder, we need to find area of our base. So that should be 64 pi, because if I have a radius of eight, eight squared is 64, okay, so area of base is 64 pi. Volume is gonna be that area multiplied by 15 square root of three. Oh, wow, very interesting number see what that is as a decimal just to get an idea of whereabouts how big that thing is let's see square root three big number five thousand two hundred twenty three point seven and this is cubic centimeters make sure we leave our answers in cubic units all right so i think i've tortured you all enough you should have plenty of info to do those assessments and check for understanding and homework and all that stuff.